So welcome into the Schalkergraft office. And I'm not alone here, we also have Robin. Hello, what's up guys? So in this special video, we're going to show you around this office, answer some top bass questions, and also tell you how we started this channel. So if that seems interesting, make sure to stick around. So why don't you go ahead and start with the tour, Robin? Now this might seem like a really nice looking office, and you're right, it is. But uh, let's start with, what's this? How did we start our channel? So in December 2019, me and Lauri decided to start a YouTube channel doing easy Minecraft tutorials. Uploaded a total of 7 videos in the first month, but had to stop uploading since we decided to move to Australia for work. Our channel blows up while we are working there and we decided to start uploading again, using all the time that we had after the work. So not a lot of time to do videos. We kept going like this until we moved back to Estonia which was in May this year. So in June we decided to rent our first office. It was exactly 14 square meters, so about the same size as my room and my home. And after being there for about 5 months, we decided to move into a better office. And here we are now. So starting off from the chill area, we have some comfy uh, places to sit here. And so we don't spend a lot of time here unless we want to take naps or something, which we don't do very often. Do you want to see a good trick? Yes, yeah, sure. And moving on, we have the fully stocked fridge that is full of Coke and bad dog. You know how there is Red Bull, so there is bad dog. Haha. <laughs> Actually, and you know what? Drink water, guys. Water is a lot better. So over here we have uh, this uh, inspirational poster that gives us uh, a, um, inspiration to make the videos. So over here we have this cool little thing that shows us the sub amount, but unfortunately it doesn't show the exact number, it uh, rounds the numbers to thousands. But it's still really cool. And Laurie bought it like a year ago and it's finally put in the good use. And moving on, here we have the silver play button for 100,000 subscribers. Thank you guys. And it's not on the wall because we don't want to drill holes there. So it's just sitting here on the drawer. And I plant. This gives us all the fresh air we need, you know. We don't need more than that. Any item you see in this video, we will link it down in the description. So if you want to know the name of anything, just go check down below. And of course, you can't forget the snacks drawer. That is pretty full of stuff. And this is definitely the best gamer food available that keeps us going for the whole day. So yeah. And moving on to our setups. This is where I sit. Here is my PC, as you can see. All lit up with those RGB fans and stuff. And also you can't see most of it because because it goes to the wrong side, so yeah. But if you wanna know the specs of my PC, then here they are. And moving on to the table, here we have a 4K monitor. Only one of them, yes, for now. And for my keyboard, I have this really low profile Logitech one. This is like a laptop keyboard. I used to have a big mechanical one, but I like these keys way more. <laughs> so for the mouse, I have also a wireless mouse, a Logitech G703, please focus. Logitech G703 mouse, which has been a really good mouse. 
apart from it breaking a couple years ago, and then I managed to fix it, and it's working ever since. So also I have this Audio Technica headphones that has a D-brand wrap on it, and the XM8500 microphone with a UMC22 like audio interface. So, and also you can't forget the gamer chair, which is totally not breaking apart with all the pieces coming off of it. But moving on to the other side of the table, here is my setup. But let's start with the PC. As you can see, I don't have the side panel glass anymore. You might have seen the picture of where the PC fell on the side and the glass broke. It was a pretty nice mess, but now I have this open design, so it's very good to sit here and just put your toes into fans. <laughs> but my PC has a great cooling now, and the specs are very similar to Lauri's PC. But moving on, I have the same Logitech mouse, G703, and a Razer mechanical keyboard. I have two monitors that are on this really dope stand. It basically hides all the cables and if you ever want to move the monitors, it's super easy to do. The only cable that I have left is the keyboard one. So this monitor here is 2K and 165Hz, while the other one is just a regular 1080p one. But this desk over here is actually my old setup. And we do have a helper here now, who helps with the editing, doing thumbnails and other stuff. So he sits here, has my old keyboard and PC and everything. And also, here is the printer, prints out the best memes. And what do we have here today? Oh wow, a legendary one. So that goes up on the wall. Fits here perfectly. Very nice. And what do we have here? Question, what do you use to record and edit your videos? We are using NVIDIA Shadow Play to record our videos and Adobe Premiere Pro to edit them. So this is what the timeline of a survival series looks like. As you can see it has a lot of cuts and effects. So about every minute that you see here on the timeline takes about an hour to edit. So for example this 12 minute video took us about 10 hours to edit, so a lot of work goes into those. Will you ever do a hardcore series? We have thought about that and there might be something similar to this next year. And just a little hint, it's a series where the viewers play a very important role. I know, you can't get my word downloads, but thanks for commenting and asking on every single video. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed our office tour. It's not a big office, so not much to show. Thanks to all of you for subscribing, and I hope to see you next time. See ya!